Hey, what's up? It's Greg from Fisherman's Headquarters, and today is Wednesday, October 15th, down here in the south end of LBI in Holgate, taking a stroll along the water's edge here, down at the refuge in the south end. Just got a little surf session, got a good surf session today, and also yesterday, got some residual swell from that big old northeast blow that we had. Hopefully everybody's dry and simmered down now. Hopefully everybody's left their boats in or okay. Uh, we got, I don't know, historical flooding, I guess you call it. Uh, some of the, I don't know, from what I saw, top, top five events here in the past, I don't know, 20 years, something like that. It was deep, but here in LBI, um, we get flooded all the time. We get Sunday day flooding. Uh, to me, it wasn't anything crazy. Uh, I remember when I was younger, the uh, couple of storms in the early 90s that I, I remember were worse. Maybe it's because I was a kid. I don't know. Who knows? But water's down, swell's still up, sun's out, light, uh, light easy, we'll call it 5 to 15, somewhere in that range. Uh, easy breeze out of the north, northwest. Beautiful day here in the south end of LBI. I do not have a fish report to share with you, unfortunately. Uh, we've had very few customers in the shop the last few days, obviously. Uh, it was windy, cranking a gale. Uh, big nor'easter and a uh, big swell. You know that we had, I don't know, eight to ten, maybe bigger, 12 foot surf, something like that. I don't really remember what, exactly what the buoy peaked out at, but I can tell you the buoy's still about five feet right now. Uh, good residual swell still in the water right now. Looks like it will stick around uh, some more tomorrow. I didn't look too far out in the forecast because uh, I'm checking out. I'm going um, flying out Friday and I'll uh, be on a cruise next week. So. I'll be out of the uh, area. I will not be sharing updated fish report here um, for, a, 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 I don't know, 10, 10 or so days. But what I will share is we've got a little bit of um, info I can share. I'll keep it short and sweet on striped bass. Uh, that public comment period ended, whatever, a couple weeks back. Uh, hopefully you submitted your comment. Just today I saw Maryland release the Young of the Year index, and it's pitiful. Again, I guess it's the seventh consecutive year. Uh, I think it was about a four. I think the average is at 11 or something like that. Could be wrong, but double check that. But I, I know I saw it was at a four. It is the best uh, young of the year we've had, and I guess in the last two years or three years, best of the three. Um, but it's still terrible. Um, the recruitment out of Chesapeake Bay has been pitiful. Um, we've got a lot of different um, issues I think that you could point at. I put my public comment and some issues that I see and possibly um, maybe some ways to help a little bit uh, on, a, on the blog that I wrote, whatever that was, before that public comment period was over. Uh, if you check that out, great. If not, um, is what it is. Hopefully, if you do care about Stripe Bass, you, you submit your comment. We'll see that decision's coming up here. I know there's a meeting uh, down at Delaware where they'll meet and figure all the things out and see where they go. Um, but with that aside, I can share. I also posted a blog just yesterday uh, about, a little about swell. Um, anybody that was familiar with the recent events, uh, there was about the capsize, the Barnegat Light. Um, I would say in the past two weeks, I forget exactly what day it was. But um, I typed up a blog that I never published two or three falls ago. And when this event happened, it sparked me to kind of bring that up, uh, kind of revise it, look it through it, and, uh, and publish it. So that's what I did. Um, I basically wanted to share, there's kind of two different types of swell. There's short period uh, swell, which is more like a wind chop, and there's long period swell, which is sometimes referred to as ground swell. Um, the ground swell is gonna come from storms, bigger storms, larger storms, uh, more duration, when I say larger, a, a larger surface area of wind. Uh, more duration, no, number of days, sometimes hundreds if not thousands of miles away. Uh, they travel long distances. Uh, they, they, these large storms build a, a massive fetch. The larger the fetch, uh, the more energy it's built up and it sends it our way. Uh, a lot of times we don't see long period swell here in New Jersey compared to say the Pacific. Uh, but in the Western Atlantic, uh, I'm not um, say an oceanographer expert, but I took a few years in college. Uh, I consider in my own eyes like 10 to 12 second period um, as long period swell. Most of the time we get, um, we get a shorter period um, wind chop, wind swell from localized storms, smaller storms, uh, quicker duration. And those wind storms, those, those wind swells, uh, most of the time give you more choppier, dicier, more confused sea state. Something that the long period swells will give you, however, 
is a hidden swell where you get these long rollers that are spaced out with set waves and they kind of are hidden until they hit a shoal or to, to sometimes they hit an inlet and they'll kind of stand up and pop up and then wall up. Um, I, I kind of wrote this blog to share this information because I feel that a lot of mariners that transit Bargain Inlet aren't really familiar with different swells. They look at the weather forecast and they see, oh, it's two to three foot. Well, two to three foot chop uh, can be dicey, but two to three foot, let's say a 12 or 14 second period uh, can be a whole lot bigger than two to three foot when it hits the shoals. Uh, it can also be a whole lot bigger when it hits a strong outgoing ebb tide in Bargain Inlet. Uh, also, when you have, say, a full moon, you got more extreme tide, more, uh, more, more flow, more uh, stronger current. Um, add that to the swell, and you kind of have the recipe for what occurred uh, a few weeks back with that capsized boat. Um, I also went into a little detail about where the buoys are uh, outside of, say, the monument, outside of the jetty, that for someone who's not aware of the area, it could kind of be sent in the wrong direction and almost set up for disaster. Uh, there's, there's a couple cans that are there, buoys, cans, uh, nuns, whatever you want to call them, technically the aids to navigation. Outside of the monument that, that marked the end of the jetties, uh, they send you right through the middle of the shoals, which is uh, just stupid. Uh, that, that has shoaled up a lot more over the past, say, five to ten years. Uh, right now, it, it's pretty treacherous on a big swell, uh, especially on an outgoing tide. Uh, so I wanted to bring some awareness to that. So hopefully, if you're not familiar with transiting the area, um, you can kind of look at that video and, uh, I'm sorry, that, that blog. And maybe this video will uh, bring some information and, and point you down to that, to that blog for, for more details. Um, I can share, uh, as far as the fishing front goes, the mullet run is probably on its last leg. We did have a large delivery of mullet, which was promising just before the weekend. Uh, the past weekend, we did have um, uh, a surf, an ASAC surf fishing tournament on LBI. I don't remember the exact results. It's, it's so many days behind me. Um, I probably should have looked at it before I shot this video. But there were some fish caught. It wasn't spectacular, but there was fish caught. If you want to check that out, I believe it was the Merchantville Fishing Club. You can find their report on Facebook. They'll show all the teams who won points, uh, what fish were caught and all that. Uh, what I can share is the water temperature did drop below 70 degrees. It was hovering right around 70 for quite some time. Uh, it's right around the mid 60 degree range right now, mid to upper 60s. I would call it 65, 66, 67, 68, somewhere in that ballpark. The bay side is going to be much cooler. Had some cooler nights, shorter days, less sunlight. Bay is definitely dropping out. I don't know the exact bay temperature right now. If I had to guess, it's going to be right around that 60 degree mark. Uh, you will have a swing with the tide depending where you're at, deep bay by the bridges or by the inlet. But for the most part, I'd say ballpark about 60 degrees. Um, Along the surf, normally when I start putting booties on, gloves, surfing, that's when it's kind of getting into that upper 50s or right around low 60s, and it's not there yet. But what I saw Atlantic City um, ocean buoy was kind of bouncing around between like 64 to 67, I thought is what I saw. Um, right now, I got almost dead high tide. I'm shooting this report on Wednesday. It's about 3.30. Uh, you can probably see, maybe I'll turn this camera a little bit, probably see some of the swell behind me. I'll, I'll throw a little edit, a little video, some B-roll in there. So you guys can see the swell here. Like I mentioned, there's good energy, some long period energy still pumping along, uh, you know, lingering from that swell, uh, from that storm. Um, on the fishing front, I'm gonna say there's probably a little trickle left of kingfish. There's definitely giving us some small blues around when things settle down. Um, also a couple striped bass. We had a pretty good showing of striped bass in little windows. Um, say in September, but we really haven't had much of a showing here in October. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but normally we do have a, a, a little bit of a push of some bigger fish in the early part of the month. Normally we see them on some bunker pods, which bunker pods have kind of been few and far between. Uh, but what, what I will share is that mullet I think is on its way out. If not, it's definitely close. Uh, we did get two deliveries of fresh bunker recently. We didn't have fresh bunker deliveries all summer long. So to get two of them more recently is promising. It means they're local. Uh, there are, there's some bait around. Hopefully we'll have some more fresh bunker in the near future. Um, I think we'll see some striped bass action slowly trickle in here. We normally get some action uh, that, that really kicks in a high gear around Halloween. That's, that's very close. Um, normally November is a great month for it too. Tog fishing is probably your best bet right now. And also sea bassing when the weather allows. 
Sea bass is probably gonna be the best fishing you're gonna have in the ocean side of things. I know Barney Inlet's got the tog bite going on. It hasn't been spectacular, but there's fish to catch. I can share with the swell, yesterday the water was chocolate milk on Tuesday. I surfed yesterday evening, lots of swell. It was definitely four to six foot, probably eight foot or better on set and consistent. Uh, today it's settled down a lot. Still some residual swell in the water, like I mentioned earlier. The buoy, Barnegat Lake buoy 44091, is reading still about five feet-ish. Uh, so there's plenty of energy still in the ocean, but it is settling down. Um, the water did clean up a lot. I can say today, there's next to no weed in the water where I was down here in Holgate. Maybe there's, maybe there's weed elsewhere, but the water is not chocolate. I see sort of like a, I'll call it like a stained green um, on like a one to 10. I would definitely put it on the higher side of things, maybe like a, on a beautiful side, like, I always call it like a seven or an eight uh, for how churned up things have been. So I got a promising outlook. I think you guys are gonna have some fish while I'm gone. Normally, whenever I'm gone, the fishing always tees off. So I'm hoping that's what happens. Uh, hopefully you guys send me some messages while I'm gone on this wedding cruise, enjoying myself down in the Bahamas with the family. My cousin's getting married. Hopefully gonna have a, a blast of a time with the family and friends. And uh, hopefully you guys will be back here in Jersey catch a bunch of fish. So if you got any uh, reports to share, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Appreciate you guys. Have a great day.